Hello, it's September 29th, 2022, and um, we're closing our pool tomorrow. So I just wanted to do a quick video on the state of the pool. You see it's, it's very clean and got the cleaning robot running right now, and it's nice and clean and chlorinated. Uh, most importantly, you see this is the water inlet right here, and the, the pressure is good. The flow coming out is good. Um, where is the hole? Hole's right here. And the pressure coming out can feel pretty darn good. So we're getting good flow, and that's one reason it's so clear. You can see the bottom real well. And the water's nice and clear, and again, there's the robot. So there's the tarp. Got the tarp ready to go over it. We're going to cover it ourselves with the system that I came up with last year. And we see we have the water bottles to hold down the tarp. And Superior Pools is coming tomorrow to close it. There's Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Yeah, you're such a good cat. Now, if we come over here, I fixed the pool earlier in the year. There was an electrical problem and um, we've got some leakage now. Now we don't use, this is part of a cleaner that we really don't use or need. But you can see there that it's got a leak somehow. That's the biggest leak is right there. And then there's a smaller leak coming out of the filter. Let's see if we, see if we can see that. There it is. So it's a much smaller, much smaller leak coming out of the filter. Now I backwash the filter a few times, and it's working well, and the pressure's cool. pressure's good. So we've got a couple leaks, which is keeping, not really affecting the system, but it's kind of keeping the concrete wet here. And one is from this unit again that we don't even use. It's kind of an ancillary cleaner that we don't really need because we've got our own cleaning system now that works real well between the robot and then, yeah, we use uh, these chemicals and we have a brush and a brush and a skimmer that we've learned to use well. So yes, hi, Poppy. Hi, say hello to the camera again. Good. So that's the situation in this area. Now, the water comes up here from the skimmer and that typically comes in primarily through the skimmer. I think it comes down through the bottom drain also. I'm not sure that bottom drain might just be for draining. I'm not sure water flows through that. That might just be for draining. I'm not sure, but at any rate, it does come in through the skimmer here. You can see that right here, the skimmer. And that's also a chlorine dispenser that we have. So, we come back now to the area where the machinery is. The water comes up here, goes through this pump, through the pump, the pump pumps it up through the filter, and this is kind of a backwash system. And the backwash runs through this, this pipe here, and then we have an extension for that pipe here. And then once it comes, through the filter normally it goes around through here through this pipe which then goes into our heater right here and then the heater once it goes through the heater it comes here and back down here to the pool so the water is running fine through the heater and if we're not doing so, we would have the pressure um, in the pool. The water coming out well through the pool at a good pressure and the pressure here. Hi, Juliet. How are you? So we had a problem with our heater going out. And for a while, it probably was because the we weren't getting good flow of water through it. And... Um, that may still be part of the problem, but I don't think so, because 
Filter's running well. I backwashed it and we've got good flow into the pool. So it's probably the heater that this heater itself needs to mean maintain. Um, probably serviced. Maybe I can do that, maybe not, but we're gonna wait till we open it up in the spring in the spring. And so here's some of the gas coming into the uh, into the gas heater. And so that's a summary of our pool. Uh, again, it's September 29th, 2020.